Hello everyone, um, this is a quick video for Math 2400, Elementary Number Theory. See, in this video I wanted to tell you about um, the units modulo M. Okay, so again we have an integer, a positive integer N, and another integer A, and we want to say what does it mean for A to be invertible modulo M. Okay, so we could say that A is invertible modulo M if there exists an integer B such that AB is congruent to 1 modulo N. Here, this should be N. Sorry. Okay. Just to give you a quick example, we were working with modulo 5 in the last video a little bit. So notice that 2 times 3 is congruent to 1 mod 5. Therefore, 2 will say that 2 is invertible modulo 5. Also, the same congruence tells us that 3 is invertible modulo 5. Okay, And then if we have a congruence class A bar, then we'll say that a bar is invertible if there is a congruence class B bar, such that if you multiply the congruence class, you get the congruence class of 1. Okay. So in this example, we'd also say that uh, the congruence class of 2 is invertible. Congruence class of 2 is invertible because 2 bar times 3 bar that's just 6 bar and the congruence class of 6 is the same as the congruence class of 1. Okay. Now gather up all the invertible uh, congruence classes and we call that UN for unit. Okay. So UN is the set of all congruence classes A such that A bar times B bar equals 1 bar for some B bar. Okay. So for example U5 U5, what is that? That's a congruence class of 1, the congruence class of 2, the congruence class of 3, and the congruence class of 4. Okay. Okay, and to end off the video, there's a quick, quick proposition that will tell us uh, which congruence classes are invertible. So we have this, this proposition, let's take a, a congruence class mod M, then let's call it alpha, then alpha is a unit modulo M, or it's invertible mod M, if and only if the GCD of a representative with M, so GCD of A with M is 1. Okay, so let's prove this proposition. Let's suppose that uh, A bar is a unit modulo M, so like A bar times B bar is 1. Okay, what does that mean? Well, it just means that um, AB is congruent to 1 mod M. Okay, and what does that mean? Well, AB is congruent to 1 mod M means that uh, it, basic, it basically means like uh, 1 minus AB is, uh, is divisible by M and you can rewrite it like this. So let's just, just to briefly see why we have that M divides 1 minus AB and that implies that MK is equal to 1 minus AB for some K and add AB to both sides we see that one AB plus MK equals 1 for some K and similarly if AB plus MK equals 1 for some K well then um, then M divides 1 minus AB so AB is congruent to 1 mod M okay now if AB plus MK equals 1 
then immediately the GCD of A and M has to be 1, because any common divisor of A and M must divide 1. Okay. And notice that this works no matter what, uh, what representative of the congruence class you have. So, okay. Now suppose that the GCD of A and M is 1, then, well, then AB plus MK equals 1 for some integers B and K, uh, then you can reduce modulo M, you get that A bar, B bar equals 1 bar. Okay. And um, in, in our next class, we'll hopefully do a lot of examples of this arithmetic and kind of get it uh, so that it's a little bit more familiar. Okay, so that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching.